July the 27, 2022 it is. So I figure out it's time for me to explain exactly about what went on. It's something that Angela Merkel involved since 1995 referred to me as in the end, at last, uh, you will find out, but uh, it most likely it will be too late. They guaranteed me, to me, due to MK Ultra confusion they created, basically it threw me in a world of lies with like 100 theories about what they're going to be doing to me which they obtain, literally they obtain from the cancer patients. Uh, in a world of lies, basically, as I stated, from, it all started with uh, what should be acoustic attacks, and that's causing this sound, this sensation, uh, then they involve in it, The other ends, the deodorant is the one doing that kind of stuff that I should be doing the natural deodorant. Directed energy weapons, uh, magnetic electromagnetic radiation, uh, and microwaving weapons. That was a big one. But they didn't stop short of diabetes. Uh, they didn't stop short of God knows I'm gonna say just how many issues you possibly can imagine they obtain literally through now this is the video that's why I'm gonna explain to you how this stuff was done what this stuff is In, in a very, very short, this is what this thing is here. This is the lady. Uh, her name is Nicolina Balaban. This is actually... According to her brother, I recall him, is this is actually not even Bosnian. She clarifies, she classify herself as a Bosnian is not Bosnian. This is actually Bosnian Serb. It's not a Bosnian. Uh, it was like something in between, but based on interaction I had with her, she loved it 100% of the time for the Serbs. Except when I was in Bosnia, it was like neutral. I'm going to put it plain and simple she was involved too heck god knows she was also involved since probably 95 did go to study to Belgrade but in 1996 at the Belgrade hospital main hospital uh, in 1996 they did some sort of now, I wouldn't refer to this as a surgical procedure uh, because the only thing they did is they caused me a damage on my on my right under my right arm and you're talking about they targeted theroids gland nodes whatever they have done it and I have demonstrated this lady because she's a physician and she went to study to become a physician, a doctor, to Belgrade with what she claimed, I don't know. Uh, she was appealing to me. I liked her under MK Ultra. Uh, she claimed to basically find out what they did to me, like on a, on a mission. But that mission was paid financed somehow from the West. It was the money that came from the West somehow.
All I know is that in 1998, there was a tremendous uh, alarm that Angela Merkel triggered in respect to my case, claiming that, uh, no, 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 we will not allow you, or something like this. Um, they tried to do, they did something, they tried to do something to you, I have no fucking idea. But in 99, uh, it was either 98 or 99 when I had reached a cancer level, I would say 99, that already completely ran out of control. They, it was like, like in 99, they had me in Germany and uh, brought me from Slovenia to Germany and I was in the hospitals and I understand they saved my life. I don't know how the fuck you save somebody's life like this, I do not understand. I lost since 1995 when extraordinary abductions, renditions, human trafficking started no less than 28 years of life on forced unemployment, on psychiatry, uh, and it was all for my sake because they pledged so much money that Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, and few other billionaires would not have combine. That's how much money they pledged if I would have approved this case. Whenever I challenge them, why? Why is it that I cannot have business? Why is it that I cannot go about and do stuff like this? The only answer I ever got was that, well, uh, we figure out that you're gonna make more money with this. It's gonna be more through the human rights issues involved in it. Uh, you're gonna make more money than anybody. We figured out that this is this is just the way for you. This is this is the way for you to do it. That's 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 all the answer. That's the answer they provided. That's the only explanation was done to me. What went on in between is impossible to explain. Those other guys were buying themselves uh, Ferraris, Porsches, building themselves factories with literally US government, no, I'm not going to say knowledge, but everything the US government had, not only money, they transferred into publicity, into public, literally through these selected people, through these selected few. Basically, these are actors in different from those in Hollywood. In 1996, they did whatever they did. Well, what they did was what I imagine is with the needles, whatever it was with the needle, they affected because it didn't go for one procedure. That's why I'm certain about it. But it started in 96 and it went on again in 98 and so on and so forth. So I got an idea that in Belgrade where I was brought to this hospital, they on multiple occasions, they began to develop a cancer which probably sometimes by 99 because the German physicians that I met that were also involved in MK Ultra, I figured out became uh, rampant to the degree that most likely would result in that. It became basically unstoppable. It's not that the German side would not know about this stuff. Uh, American side, whatever, of course they did. In meanwhile, there was a lot of people that simply perished from the cancer. They all knew about what the fuck went on. They all knew about the stuff that went on. And this extraordinary abductions, renditions from Miami, Florida, USA, went on and it went on. Uh, Bill Clinton was the one who started also the play with a cancer and so I suspect that 
since this was the U.S. president who started this extraordinary rendition, abductions, torture, MK Ultra was also the one who okayed, who gave a green light for the play with the cancer. He was the one who pledged also, uh, and that's what they do. Joe Biden did the same thing before he became a president involved since 1995 alongside of the Bill Clinton he too pledged a cure for the cancer and so on and under this oath have subjected himself literally through a cancer what type of cancer are we talking about this is you talking about the cancer that is literally injected I don't know how in your body and it gives an individual that is injected with this kind of cancer uh, whatever they, whichever way they do it I don't know how they produce this stuff I was told it's injected but you know when I consider the stuff about this theory it's about the poisoning you know gassing and I'm not gonna say that poisoning and gassing did not took place I am 100% certain it did took place this was not about sensation, something as I was told they would evaluate psychologically people who would suffer from this kind of cancer uh, and then compare the sensations, the response they would get from them, gesturing them also under MK Ultra. This is a huge, huge thing. The world is not so small, people. It's a big fucking world. The people that were involved in this case, you're talking about Indian Prime Minister Modi since 1995. You're talking about Xi Jinping since 1995. You're talking about all the important people. Uh, forget about Putin. Forget about American presidents. All the people that played a major role since 1995. Every one of them, every single one of them remained on a position unless it was timely um, did not have opportunity like in the US you only can have two presidencies uh, and so they would have to substitute people uh, either per law or they would have to substitute people due to age issues eventually um, but everybody whoever you see today on a world stage and that's how designated Joe Biden as a as a magic cure basically for Ukraine for everything they have screwed up for everything the US administration basically screwed up deliberately for the last 28 years so that he could come to stage and be a magician like a, a magic savior of this world uh, Joe Biden basically that's that's exactly what it is in Slovenia state prosecutors uh, absolutely everybody you're talking about everybody ministers presidents um, people that you would interact with the government police everybody the same thing ran since 1995 involvement in crime and it's not here only it's not only here it's about the business people it's about United Nations Antonio Guterres was involved in this since 1995 they involved people not to, not talking about him specifically all other people involved in United Nations affairs participated in this ordeal they observed this and it goes likewise to the European Court for Human Rights Amnesty International and other institutions that can make any difference for one. Everybody, literally everybody, because it's a secret. Secret, sick shit is what it is. This is no secret. This is a beyond sickening sicker than sick shit but it's a sicker than sick shit 
that guaranteed people free tickets along the Adriatic coast, Greece, to Africa, reporters, journalists, trips to Africa. You're talking about the beer grills, you're talking about adventures, YouTubers, uh, give them extra audience, give you promotions at your work, um, discounted real estate, business opportunities, trading channels, you name it. This is what this shit was. That's what this was. And it was like a concentrated, basically concentrated on, on an issue that you must get involved. However, to get the freebies, the discounts, the airplane tickets to Australia, you have to commit crime against an individual. You have to commit crimes against the moho. Against the moho. Moho is going to be the one based on whose secret you will earn money. You will even prosper countries like the cases with Dalbanis, let's say from India or let's say China. You get your magic business people and as long the moho is alive, as long as you assist moho, as long the moho sees you on the internet, don't worry about it. Rate it as a paranoid schizophrenic. The day he starts to talk about it, rate it as a paranoid schizophrenic. Before that, since 1995, what American presidents, what Bill Clinton's also commenced, also was a psychiatry that was involved in it. A terror 24-7, 24-7, just for your sake, beatings, abuse in Britain that went on. Major sponsor of this crime that I would blame one for at least 50% share of this crime against me. This is Great Britain. Great Britain, I would say covered for the Russia I'm gonna say maybe a three quarters of the world when it comes to crime they sponsored crime against me in a countries where I was taught talking about the third world and that threatened yeah but the thing is that people since I love remote areas i love people like um i love indigenous people i love indigenous experience in amazona in in remote places in asia uh promised me and of course they would people remember your face your stupidities you do These people don't know how to read they they don't understand they fucking resent you one time, they see you, and they don't even have to know what the fuck is all about. You're gone at the picture. People were gone at the picture already just for appearing, and they were gone at the picture. And the, with the local governments, they allowed expeditions that would go literally into a rainforests. Literally into, they would bring me to extremes. I don't have to explain why that would be, why they were doing the stuff like this. Uh, when they rate you as a paranoid schizophrenic, if you say something like this, you're like, you're gone like this. Like this, you're gone. That's the main reason. But yeah, if I would go to those areas, I don't doubt these people. They promised me I would be dead. On, uh, on initial contact. That's what British royals did. That's what those, their special relations with indigenous society across the Asia. I don't know about Amazona. I don't know. Brazil, I have no idea. But they accomplish all kinds of resentments throughout the world because of the crime because this is this is this is about extermination this is about 
cleansing, genocide is what it is. And so how better way to cover one up than to connect yourself to indigenous groups? Hollywood, talk about the human rights, participate in public debates and so on, and, and, and portray yourself as a, as a concern for the global society. Me, Mojo, I was no minority in Miami because I'm white, but in reality, I was the one who was selected to be wiped out. I'm Eastern European. In Miami, as a Slovenian in the United States of America, due to my political issues that I immigrated to the United States of America, I was one in the whole United States of America. I would not even interact with the Slovenian people. There were just few Slovenian people. There were some Serbs and Slovenian people I figured out next to Russians that I already know where they are from and what they are up to. So there was no reason, there was no necessity for me to look for that kind of friendship. On a political, due to political landscape, you don't have to be from a certain country that you are whatever uh, minority or whatever status you have to look the person's political background. My background was such, as you see. This is what my background is. What can I tell you? And so I, the Moho, the evil, who did all this stuff in the world, I doubt I would be capable to do stuff like this without the people who made me a Moho. Now, how far does this Moho gone? Once they infected me with a cancer, with this kind of cancer, and this is under no fucking means the same cancer that Vladimir Putin has, or that Bill Clinton has, or that Joe Biden has, none of which they have. I was brought inside of the pharmaceutical companies, literally, where I was also taught that if they're going to give okay and stuff like this, then you're going to come back and then we're going to give you inside of the pharmaceutical companies exclusively. Barack Obama, Michael Jordan claimed me they have a few of these black people from the U.S. claim me they have this kinds of antidotes, they have this kind of shots they can give, they have the medication for it, they obtain just few of them they obtained from this pharmaceutical companies like on the side in a private that they can help me out they claimed me once you enter inside of the computer as a cancer patient and it's why we will not when you go to the hospital novel master it's why we will not and the clause also, of course, properly protects Poland, Polish state, where I went to the hospitals on a research. Properly protects, covers up. Uh, once we enter inside a computer, there is no way we possibly can help you. Because once you're inside the computer, uh, as a cancer patient, then the only thing that it's left you, it's basically the official cancer treatments such as pills, chemotherapy, and that kind of stuff. Which, for which you told me this shit doesn't actually work. This is an industry, a tremendous industry is what it is. Uh, and this is why uh, that's the way it is. It's too much money. Angela Merkel claimed me it's just too fucking, too big money to... Uh, to ignore but that I have to tell this because if I wouldn't tell this there'll be no no help for me there'll be no help for me another one who was I was told it's gonna be even okay before I do this part 
It was incredible to go with Bill Clinton, to go with Joe Biden to this facilities where they had a cancer patients suffering inside. And boy, throughout the United States of America, these people would take me on a several locations where they would have these hospitals, these this homes, where they would take care of these cancer patients where they would be meeting them uh, and spending time with them. And these people fucking believe that I, the Moho, will save them. Basically, nobody could fucking do this stuff. Maybe Christ could have done it, uh, but I don't believe in Christ. I am not your typical Christian. I don't believe in basically being fucked so that you can pay for other people's sins. I don't believe this shit because the crime like this, this is just like a magic formula for the crime. This was invented by some people that just wanted uh, those who crucified somebody over there in Jerusalem a long, long time ago uh, in, in a very, very primitive way, by the way. Uh, they, they just wanted you to actually tolerate tolerate the terror the early beginnings of the britain were actually really horrendous if you if you have seen the early beginnings in the britain how it all started you're going to see that those kings at the early beginnings were not any not really nice people to their own people you, you can read that they massacred more people than anywhere in the world on just a single occasion it was more brits that died for one king at home uh, actually were executed than anything you possibly could see throughout the history of the humankind that anybody did. And it's actually what Prince William prided himself with. We just did it once, he said. You just gotta go and see a little bit the history and uh, you don't become a US president unless you offer some bad crazy shit to certain people so that it will be that you get the support from you know all sorts of backgrounds of the people to the issues that matter to the people and Bill Clinton once when he got himself a cancer he gave himself a cancer uh, once got in a really bad situation and this situation with Bill Clinton almost ended up leaving him dead. It almost was the end for him, is what I was told. Uh, if this is to believe at all, uh, they told me that was because it uh, probably was just a stimulant for me because I don't know what was not lie, really. Because this is just, he eats the same food, the, he was doing the same crazy shit like you. You didn't take care of yourself. You know, that kind of stuff. Uh, when it comes to Joe Biden, Joe Biden has cancer when he needs one. And he doesn't have cancer when he doesn't need one. Borut Pahor, President of Slovenia, tested for the cancer. Milan Kuchan tested for the cancer. But they don't have the fucking cancer. Cancer is treatable. They test for the cancer. You can go and give a test to the cancer. It'll take and it'll confirm you. They'll write it down. You have a cancer. But within the next few days, you no longer might have cancer. Based on testimonies that people, these people gave me, there absolutely is. I'm not going to say antidote or whatever you want to call this, but there is. Yeah, they talk about injections. There is something, it could be pills, God knows what. There is something that kills this cancer cells. They absolutely have it. But in my case, that alone will not do the magic, ladies and gentlemen. That will do the magic in the people that inject themselves with the cancer. 
that will do the magic with the people that take pill and demonstrate cancer enough so they can be an allergist of cancer patients. And as I stated, maybe within the next week, two, they can be completely cancer already, completely cancer free. Till maybe again somebody acquires some test or something or whatever the fuck. These people go to the private physicians, they go to this, they have private physicians inside of the public facilities too. They said that there is a lot of stuff, there is a lot of stuff, sure, sure it is a lot of stuff. There is too much stuff really. Definitely world is not equal for everybody, this is definitely a fact. But let's go back to this issue with Joe Biden. Joe Biden will literally go to these facilities with cancer patients and would give them, uh, uh, would counsel them and brag about his own health issues and stuff like this. But on the side, I was explained if they would only know about that kind of stuff, it would it would be very bad for him if they would only know about that kind of stuff. Or and so what Bill Clinton and Joe Biden promised and dreamed about. Uh, these people lived like a super billionaires. Hello. They lived like super billionaires. Very high quality of life, very good life, loaded with the money, their children uh, virtually came out of, literally came out of nowhere and became super wealthy. Dragged wealth for themselves, lived like a billionaires. On the other hand, I had 28 years of misery. I had 28 years of cancer. The neighbor, Dr. Igor Kota, who started to experiment on me, this kind of stuff, in 1995, 1996, 1995 already. He played with immune system, with immunity system. He started within the first year. I'm very skeptical about that surgery in Belgrade in 96 or maybe was it maybe even in 95. I don't know. The only thing I know is that they fucked with. They would every time they would go and they would destroy the immune system and they would literally test domestic products. The products that will be important to our country especially from other countries. Stores like Eurospin, Lidl, Hofer, uh, Interspar, German, Italian stores, whatever they would get from abroad, also for Mercator, for domestic Mercator, was a particular interest on how I will respond to the certain ingredients, to the certain issues, how my body, once it's weakened, once it's completely destroyed, subject to cancer. Now, how, how they did this shit with the cancer? How the hell this was done? It's an easy thing to do, actually. It's a very, very easy thing to do. Let me demonstrate to you. It's a very easy thing to do. This is a very, very easy thing. What what neighbor Dr. Igor Kotra was doing is a very, very simple thing to do. It's a very, very easy. Hi, this is a very, very primitive, no. but it works 100% procedure. Uh, the physicians, uh, like Dr. Eric Berg, you see right there. Like, for instance, Dr. Mendel. Uh, and then there is another physician which insisted that I have a fatty liver. Uh, started to insist me I'm going to have a fatty liver in year 2000, actually 2001, once he got his license somehow, doctoral, that he got his I don't know what kind of credentials in 2000, 2001, it was the, all these people involved. 
in MK Ultra since 1995. The main guy who started with a theory It was a Ken Berry. That was the main guy who started with the fatty liver theory. He was the main guy who started with the NFAD. So this this is the main this is the main Jack. His name is Ken Berry. Now there is a whole big uh, not such a easy. Uh, not so easy to understand issue behind this stuff here fatty liver NFL, NFLD uh, that's yeah let me explain to you how this theory was born on that MK Ultra and this became then a mother of more theories, uh, basically lies. These are all the lies. If you go back to Angela Merkel, that add up to, as she stated. I know it's difficult to understand, but MK Ultra is more confusing to understand. So I did my work and tried to make sense out of this. And if it's all fucked up, sporadic, too much for you, bye bye in that case. Angela Merkel stated, you will figure out, but it will be too late. Uh, and then she started to wonder if it's going to be really too late. Because it was impossible to figure out. This, 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 when the hospital basically blocks you from access to information is one thing. But when you find yourself walking around the garden at 11 o'clock, pouring the water into a tree outside, into a fruit yard, drugged up, when neighbor tells you that you have to do this quietly, basically sip the water inside the, the water can, because of me and I said what the fuck you mean me yeah, it was my neighbor who told me who pointed me his house Peterlin for instance or you have for instance the guy here Sinichar let's say pointing you out how many cans you have to sip into a certain tree so that certain tree would survive the summer heat and why it's important to hit let's say um paris let's say since whenever since whenever had any when they are growing that was a donico lens here right across the street let's say um when you have this kind of shit going on this kind of madness that you encounter when you go to the place for of employment or to the social services or to the police station you understand that your chances are close to fucking zero because it's not only the madness that is involved but it's like we say in slovenia polena pod nogami on every step of the way that means a tree a piece of tree thrown under your legs on every step of the way in every step of the way it's actually what counts it's actually what adds up it's actually what adds up to a complete failure in this case because it's this is all about time how much time how long can you survive this is not about getting yourself cured this is really about how to survive as long as you can because you are not going to fucking survive this kind of cancer. There is no way you can survive this kind of cancer. I don't know if you can hear me changing voice. Uh, my eardrums are opening and closing 
uh, and that's an issue really that is related to this issue here. Uh, Jared Kushner had a cancer while in White House memoir reveals. If Jared Ka Kushner, what can I tell you, thyroid cancer, Jared Kushner was just, uh, I met him, I met Jared Kushner sometimes in 2015, he met me, and the cancer was like super, super bad with him. Uh, I don't know anything about White House. Jared Ka uh, Kushner didn't battle any fucking thyroid cancer while aid to Trump in the White House. That's a bloody lie. That book, that house memoirs, that's already a fucking lie. That's a false record. That's a fake, that's a folly, that's a lie. Jared Kushner had a surgery, like it or not, in 2015 was, Jared Kushner in 2015 was, was just like this was talking to me. And at that point in time, ladies and gentlemen, I can guarantee you the surgery took place. There's no fucking way that Jared went any further than that. And it all started sometimes in 2013, something like this. 2012, something like that. Who poisoned the Jared Kushner? Jared Kushner had natural problem to his steroid cancer issues. Completely, totally natural natural issue nobody gave him absolutely anything uh and it was really something to do with i assume with the voice he's got it was something that completely altered his voice he was barely and i was making fun of him i was making fun of him it was funny to me it was funny as hell because the fucking guy and ivanka trump both indulge themselves and you have no fucking idea how much when in Poland with what's going to be for me in the future it's going to be a rusty rusty pots I'm going to cook myself food from it's going to be uh, all kinds of shit that 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 is going to do when I'm going to take a trip to Poland and how I'm going to be fucking dying and this and that but this goes way back in time this go this goes back in time. I have no fucking idea when the two met, when the two got together. It goes into way earlier time. This goes... This goes into 2006. It goes maybe to 2005. I have no idea. It goes way back in time. That's the way it was in Poland. In Poland, where I was brought, it was a beating. They had this special locations, halls, torture cells, literally, where they would station you inside. And I have already had a pleasure to see them during my stay in Poland because they assured that you walk those steps. You go out on a through the public, in a public you interact with MK Ultra staff members and occasionally they bring you uh, literally uh, to this halls from where the show is running. The main hall, however, and that's how this Polish uh, system protected itself. It just demonstrate how, what degree of precaution they took. It was the immigration center in Grotnikach. Before one even became immigration center in Grotnikach, this was a home for demented people. The same like a psychiatric hospital in Bialna Polie, where they would, Prince Charles went on to lodge, to stay, to sleep overnight, first time in 1998. And since, whenever they would arrive from other locations to Slovenia, they would just give them a whole wing to themselves and they would do a sleepover and then they would go forward because there was not so many patients inside. The same fucking way they ran operation in Poland, in Grotnikach. 
near Sgerch, near the lodge, the same criminal way, exactly, completely identical recipe. They completely identically ran these operations, all these hospitals, all this shit. It all ran into the same, exact same pattern, basically. That's why I was telling you about how it was with his MK Ultra staff members that sometimes they would load 20 kilos, 15 kilos inside of the backpacks, 10 kilos inside of the backpacks, and they would deliberately uh, stretch one side of the backpack. They would make one shorter than the other, and they would have me drugged up, walk like this, carry their belongings for four, five, six hours till a very serious injuries spine injuries already appeared way before i even went to poland with my work in us which only was the work for security officer type of jobs did not require would not you would not obtain and it was a job related to the truck driving which german told me that 100 percent sure now i'm gonna suffer uh, a spine injury and stuff like this on several occasions uh, however I suffered anywhere from carpal syndrome all disappeared I suffered seizures all disappeared I suffered spine injuries that prohibit me actually to work at the register because when I would do this kind of movement and the only thing that would result would be in somebody would have plug you into a current of 220 when you would go home you would start to shiver on your bed to a degree that you would fall down and you would have a seizure some kinds of shit this was done this kind of stuff was done in poland who knows maybe electroshocks god knows what the fuck you i was i'm saying what you the way they see you the way they saw me I was no Elon Musk, I was a fucking piece of meat that you can do anything you want to do with it. That's the end of it. I was nothing. They, they, they. Funny about myself is that I knew what the human dignity was to the degree that when they started to call me dogs, they, they called me a dog in Britain. The British Royals, they wanted to call me dog first. That I'm a dog. That was the only time ever I got upset with the British Royals. And I started to look at them in a very, very funny way. Because it appeared to me clearly that we do not understand each other at all. Next to their flirting comments, their compliments, uh, beatings in between that took place. And I still let go because of lies which started in 1995, how these are going to be a preparations for me to mentally survive or deal in Eastern Europe during so-called MKUltra. Between abductions, extraordinary renditions, which took place especially between 95 and August 2006, 11 and a half consecutive years, ladies and gentlemen, I have not exited United States of America ever on my own, with exception to three occasions when I went for a visit to my ex-wife to South America, to Ecuador, to her family. That's all there was. It was uh, horrendous stuff that went on in Britain. Horrendous stuff that went on in Serbian part of Bosnia, Serbia. I was brought in 95 already on the front lines of the war literally in the ditches were abused challenged to return with the same before they would send their soldiers into attacks and so on so then you can imagine what kind of taste of mk ultra bestiality this was right you do understand that when you do stuff like this to person in front of guns and the person goes against you and i'm not gonna say rebel but insults you throw insults you and all kinds of stuff like this so that the soldiers can carry on the guns in the opposite direction thinking about you 
when they march into a death. Then you can imagine what kind of MK Ultra it is. This was, it was like this. There is a golf place not too far from here, Kirka Golf, at the Tochets. And they had some kind of a weird, uh, just, it looks really beautiful to, to, to stop the landslide. It's like a golf course, big one. But when I was brought there on that MK Ultra, and I, when I saw that, I stopped. And uh, I changed the friendly tone completely during MK Ultra. Uh, was actually willing to smash the guy that accompanied me there. Nobody understood why. The same kind of symptom like in front of the partisan memorials where they were beating me up, recording me with the video cameras and stuff like this here in Slovenia during National Liberation Front celebrations would bring me in front of the partisans and insult, basically through insults at themselves, humiliate themselves, wanted to see what the Nazi looks like with the prior beatings that would at times took even 15 years before people I think did not even know I think the partisans didn't even know what the fuck went on Stanonik was the one apologizing to me for this shit but he never took far enough so that he would go up because he feared Milan Kurjan, his comrade he feared Zoran Jankovic he, they feared this partisan Slovenian partisans feared these politicians more than what they feared Germans, you can trust me on that issue. It reminded me, if I go back to this golf course, about these ditches inside of the Bosnia and these front lines where they exchange fire with the Croats and with the Bosnian people. When I recall that kind of stuff, I don't understand actually these people from United States of America and from London, British and this, this, not even Germans, I don't understand. I don't understand anything about this stuff. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it, but I was told by the Germans it's going to be fun to see me not having the right to choose food. That's how far they went with the abuse. It's going to be fun to see me when I return from Poland, I'm not going to have a chance that I'm going to see because I'm, under MK Ultra, everything they presented me, any kind of challenge, I rejected. Any kind of challenge, I downplayed whatever they. And I also downplayed the choice of food, the right to choose food or whatever. I was like, so what the fuck? I don't care. Whatever is on the table, I eat. This is how I was always. But it did prove to be a bigger ordeal. But then again, in what terms, really? I don't think it was a bigger ordeal. I think that when they do the stuff like this to you, they just, uh, they just, they just, um, how can I say? They just. They do the stuff like this to kill you. <laughs> Obviously, that doing the stuff like this to person is killing one. It's not to kill you, but this when you do the stuff like this, you are killing a person. The people, once people do that kind of stuff, it's like a bear that you see in a forest that will launch at someone. Uh, that bear is going to repeat that. It's not going to be once. He does it once. He breaches that fear to approach to a settlement. He's going to do it again and again and again and again. And eventually, usually what they do is they put the animals like this to sleep. It's the same thing with the politicians. Once they start doing this kind of stuff, you can bet that they will launch at more people. They will do more evil to more people. They do it with a certain purpose. It's more than just a satisfaction behind observing somebody to suffer. It's more. 
it's the rational is much bigger well we are on the brink of the we are in the i would say actually already in the middle of the world war three um something i was telling you about and i was warning the world about what's going to happen because if you're not going to talk about this case if you're not going to speak about if you're not going to move your butt and basically do your jobs what's going to bring the whole uh altercations into and you have refused and so probably you did for really good reasons i wouldn't get into that stuff now but vladimir putin does he actually have a cancer who the fuck knows if he has a cancer or not i doubt it he has a cancer when he needs one he acts like he has a cancer when he has to so the media american media that coordinated the entire attack on ukraine have something to write about but none of you actually knows whether he has a cancer or not uh vladimir putin 1995 uh there was a talk that they did something to him why did they did something to him and this and that. why did they have to do something like this to him um there was a batting in now how you say that in, in blood i don't know dear blood or whatever they were doing the crazy stuff inside of our house and in moscow with americans they were doing all kinds of stuff but vladimir putin was a lunatic a lunatic a madman to begin with from the day one he was never fucking normal he was a sicko he was a he is a psychopath deep inside man is mentally severely disturbed whether he was doing this antler blood or whatever it is bathing for cancer or for private joy a lunatic like this which you can find in london prince charles did this shit prince andrew did this shit or which none have cancer would have done this kind of a um i'm just trying to find the proper word for this sacrifice just for the fuck of it for the pleasure of it not that they would have done it they obviously they did because they were doing all that bullshit in russia they were doing this bullshit here in slovenia too they were doing it for the fuck of it if you don't have a cancer and it feels you good it makes you feel good even this psychologist daniel rex smith he would he batted in whatever was left from those wealthy boys big dogs uh so don't bet about that kind of stuff about the cancer issues don't don't be so sure about that kind of stuff when it comes to cancer issues vladimir putin and americans i should say the free main press stream media don't bet on it okay don't bet on it because you know you know that 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 95 percent is is a stool is a bullshit it's a lie it's as liquid lie as diarrhea when you go to the toilet if you have one look at it that's a mainstream media it's a lie and it was completely coordinated that lie was completely coordinated with many other sacrifices russia committed itself to get part of ukraine as big as possible basically cleansing their uh, magazines where the weapons are stored would be probably about the best estimation i would come to i comment so many different issues and each of them is really sophisticated to answer and along the way as i go i'm going to recall those issues and we'll discuss them again but right now this here this is the main thing here 
this whole case of mine yeah Donald Trump in 2017 when he had me in the US uh, took me to his physician and I didn't like it even a little bit I don't like it even a little bit because Donald Trump when he lies uh, he talks so differently he talks so quickly so uh, so stern so hastily and he always seeks support from other people basically under MK Ultra, that's exactly the way it was so he took me to some physicians to his hospital whatever it is uh, and he talked to me in front of the physician uh, about how I'm gonna have to do that kind of stuff too if I will want to survive and of course uh, he would be the only one who could save possibly my life enough about Donald Trump who started all this shit if we go to 1995 the cancer in 1995 was just uh, well I just gotta get the fucking cancer being around people like this and not to have a cancer this is already this is already against the law come on ladies and gentlemen that's already fucked up that's already that's that's already something that uh can you imagine i mean big dogs like this the big dogs the big the story about the big dogs ended when i almost break somebody some black guy over there in the u.s nose because from the great britannia they transmit to the britain to usa to hollywood whatever fuck they did and it was black people they started to about big dog about the dog you know dog you know you're my dog you dog i'm nobody fucking dog i'm nobody's fucking dog you're black you won't call me a dog you're gonna have a fucking nose broken when you're gonna call me a dog nobody fucking refers to me a dog not queen elizabeth not prince charles not prince andrew you fucking refer to me as a dog i'll fucking snap your head off there is no dogs here there is no fucking dogs here i have seen shit in a diapers that grew up and was just growing smarter and smarter and smarter and i was just growing from 23 years old as I was just more and more stupid more and more obese more and more stupid more and more cancerous more and more fucked up without a job and anything and when I saw this shit in diapers born time and again already they're not only children but grandchildren and grand grandchildren being just as fucking smart as their parents the last thing I'm gonna allow somebody is to refer to me as a dog when you refer to me as a dog I'm gonna fucking smack your head off your shoulders they couldn't convince me about being dog not like this not like that but the British mainstream media are reminded through the mainstream media they bullied they heavily bullied with a dog with a dog you know dog Obama dog died right Obama dog died it was Obama dog that died what about the Queen dog that died you know, remember all that news that was just recently basically released about how their dogs were dying they wanted to basically go from what I stated to earlier here we're gonna pay you more than Bezos we're gonna pay you more than Musk we're gonna pay you all these guys together into a dog basically we're gonna go into a dog in the last goodbye in the u.s this was from donald trump basically if you're not gonna have this kind of surgery there's a thyroid cancer you're gonna die too and this and that so what's going on with this thyroid cancer well the thyroid cancer it's like this this guy here this guy was not the one as i claimed that he was on a new site that i claimed that it was 
Dr. Ken Berry, who decided uh, they're gonna do me a fatty liver. Uh, it was a Ken Berry, Dr. Ken Berry, that is an uh, idiot. This guy is. This is this is this is the biggest forge that I would recommend you people. I don't know, is he so mentally retarded? Evil? Whatever the fuck it is, I have no fucking idea. But the way that he presented me a cancer, a real cancer, as fucking real as cancer can be real. Now you're gonna say, how oh, did you survive? How the fuck did you survive? Uh, in this case, since 2017, 2018, five years, dealing 24 seven with the cancer. How did you, how did you survive this? Well, uh, I survived because I didn't listen to Prince Harry. I survived because I drink probably, even if I sit, maybe four liters, three liters of liquid four liters more of liquid every fucking day so what it does it actually takes you on a toilet and it somehow helps you uh, prevent the further spreading of the cancer when you sit once you get this kind of injection whatever it is that kills this cancer cells the cancer doesn't spread it goes into a neutral status but once you start to exercise because of what Igor Kotar did the neighbor you remember when I told you that he beat the immune system every time they went and they spread the cancer through the body they would every time whenever they would these people they would come from whether that would be Israel whether that would be India whether there will be Russia and often time it was all of them at once from South Africa from Australia you name it Brazil whatever country what they would do is they would go for a walk a lot not all of them did not but if they didn't have a chance to go for a walk for a hiking under every MK Ultra, they had in charge the neighbors to go and force me into hiking. This also was the reason for my increasing the weight in the United States because I lost reality about the weight management itself, body weight management. And I started to accumulate more and more and more weight like this. It was next to free ice cream at Bezos plenty food they loaded you with chocolates and all kinds of shit the way to increase more weight how they destroyed the immune system on every occasion I have explained how much the tool had to do with it with the immune system probably it helps but what that kind of stuff would do for you when you're doing this kind of stuff to somebody in the future when this person is going to have to is going to be drowning in a cancer this kind of confusion they created this is fucking priceless because today opposed to Angela Merkel I can tell exactly what happened what exactly is going on and this without without any kind of results from the hospital the results from hospital will be delayed so much that this kind of injury eventually would spread into the heart or it would spread into some other part of the body and eventually would give them uh, an excuse that it's actually the heart failure that he suffers from or something else and not cancer in reality because that's how it is that's how they brainwash they brainwash with the heart with what dr Igor Kotra started they started to create the shortcuts throughout the body they started to create to connect the dots 
The dots are actually the lymph nodes, the gland nodes, steroids. They connect the dots on your body. And when you do this, when you poison somebody many times, I have no idea how they did. They probably gave me something to eat or they maybe, I, who knows what they did. What can I tell you when they had me in the hospital on the bed, which exactly is the same bed where my father is right now in Novomenesto Hospital. They obviously injected me. They obviously did all kinds of stuff like you do with somebody who is drugged up. Imagine what can be done with one. That's exactly what they were doing with me. Like a piece of meat. Nothing more than this. What they did to me exactly, I do not know. The only thing I know is that every time whenever I was subject to MK Ultra, it was shh. 24-7, it was eardrums that would open, in other words, in other words, Changes to your voice, increasing hoarseness, difficulty swallowing, sw lymph nodes in your neck. Yeah, but this is not only pertaining the hoarseness and change of your voice. This is not pertaining only to the thyroid cancer. This pertains also to other types of cancers. That's why I know it was a cancer. I don't need to tell, I don't need to have anybody to explain to me what the fuck that was. This was not a weapon that was shooting down from the space, directed energy weapon on me, the way they brainwashed me. Man, they had, they had the most stupid, the least credible scenarios lined up as first if you did go according to the order you're gonna see that the first scenarios they came up with that i came up with were the most stupid the least credible scenarios then what they would do is they would start they would go to the brain cancer they would start with a uh, fatty liver issues with cirrhosis cirrhosis they were involving uh, cases they would later publish in the news in the media that would fucking trigger hysteria in somebody who would be unstable somebody who couldn't handle the pressure drilling we're gonna drill you it's gonna be all good the only thing that's gonna happen in the in the rear of the head that's what i was talking about in poland it's just gonna have to be drilled a hole so it's gonna come out the the water is gonna come out because it's gonna be and that's the procedure and then everything is gonna be okay they always left the space to give an one an idea that is just something that's just gonna be a simple procedure and then, then it's gonna be okay and this and that and it's gonna be all right this is this is a play with a complete lunacy in Poland, I was poisoned so fucking badly that my uh, gland nodes, lymph nodes would be like fucking like this, man. All over the body. It was burning all over my chest. I didn't know what the fuck is going on. Do I have a cardiac arrest? Then I realized it's a, it's a fucking gland nodes that are like... They didn't do it once. They poisoned, but the poisoning started already in Slovenia. So how they do it, how they do it, based on what I stated right now, they give you poison to eat. You eat the poison and because of what Dr. Igor Kotter did, 
He poisoned for no less than 25 years actively. He rat poisoned for 25 years actively. Actually, I can't say because since 2018, it didn't make no fucking difference to me anymore. But that's 23 years that Dr. Igor Kotar poisoned actively and was actively crashing my immune system till my immune system had to be treated with a cancer pills and with whatever antidote that saved me the last time. Because the last time in 2017, according to Joe Biden, when I received some kind of injection, it was already no fucking way for me to even go back to, to be a life status. It was the mission to Poland even that was going to fall apart that was not going to come as next. That's how bad the fuck that was. So Dr. Igor Kotter did this God knows how many times. And therefore it was this man here who, who came with the most idiotic clue to me uh, about the fatty liver, about the fatty, fatty liver issue. He came with a theory about the fatty liver issue with a lie, with yet another lie he came up during which he claimed, during which he claimed, well, we have to find you a disease. And I was like, how, what the fuck are you talking about? In 99, when he was still doing his study, this was an MK Ultra staff member in Poland. All these guys were, except Dr. Mendel. Mendel was not. But both of these guys were in Poland, MK Ultra staff members. They played with Donald Trump's Hunger Games. They don't have to have a spine broken. Most of the people that were in Poland had no spine broken whatsoever. They did this shit to just me and maybe there is some other guy out there. They came up with the idea that, and it's why this is so sickening, sick, sicker than sick shit. That makes me very, very uncomfortable to the degree that I would charge both physicians, including the, the other physician, with... attempted murder both of these physicians here this physician Ken Barry and then you have another physician here whom I have stated is a good physician Dr. Eric Berg I don't think these are good physicians I don't actually think anything is good about these physicians. I want to see if you can guess the... I don't think that anything is good with these physicians. These are the physicians that observed Dr. Igor Kotar destroying my immune system, killing me. In front of their eyes, they observed one basically did the kill. This guy here Well, you got to understand my point of view. Let me explain something. The other physician can bury. This physician here. He came up with uh, idea and that could be it that actually that's a really really deadly lie that's just, that is such a deadly deadlier than deadly lie because 
the cancer is treatable if it's detected in early stages. But what this guy did, listen to this stuff. We have to come up with a disease for you before they choose one. Year 1999, I state. We have to come up with disease for you before they get to choose one. You saw them. You know what they're doing to you. It's better that we come with a disease than what they do. I'm thinking about what disease should we come up with. Year 2000, 2001, Dr. Ken Berry, I cite. We have to find, he did this for two or three years, instigated. He instigated for two, three years. We have to find you a disease that the modern world suffers from. That's what he instigated right in front of the neighbor, Dr. Ivor Cotter. That's why I know this guy is a piece of shit. This is the guy, ladies and gentlemen, that supposedly would come here so that he could witness, according to the Buckingham Palace, who also listed this man here on a pay scale. Both of these guys. So that we can witness what he did to you. That's how he came. But for two years, three years he melted we have to find out, because of your lifestyle, what kinds of uh, disease you're going to have so that it can look as natural as possible. And he started to instigate this in front of Dr. Igor Kotter, the neighbor, with whom he exchanged the knowledge and God knows what else. This can be deadly for many, many reasons, as reason number one, I stated was early stages are crucial to cancer. The further it gets, the less cancer becomes treatable. So this guy pushed forward a fatty liver issue at all costs. This guy did not know this stuff. I don't think that he was aware about what this guy was doing. But he got involved and eventually find out that I will have the cancer, that I do have a cancer, but began to push forward his recipes, began to advertise his recipes about the red wine. leaves fatty liver NFLD the red wine you're gonna go at Tershka Gora he will take me to the Tershka Gora I did so this so poorly I did I apologize so this guy here, this this guy here, I'm going to repeat to you. This is the guy who did push forward the theory about NFLD, which he came as official theory sometimes in 2001, claiming me that's what you have. And he instigated for about two years with a lie that, well, we have to find out about disease you're going to have. And it's got to be a disease that modern world suffers from. And he went on further in front of... Uh, he did this in front of Dr. Igor Kotar. In private, however, he insisted me that he is on a mission here in Slovenia. That he needs to find out what they're doing. And it's better they choose the disease than Slovenian counterparts. Russian, Serbian counterparts. That therefore, it's going to be a fatty liver. This is this is a this is a mastermind of fatty liver crime. This guy here. NFLD. To put it exactly in in a sequence. 
Now this guy, Eric Berg, did not know. This is the Eric Berg is here. This is the physician. He did not know. He didn't know about this issues that I stated to you right now. So he started to insist me with fatty liver solutions to the, to the fatty liver or through, of course, as a physician, he 100% knew that I'm going to have a cancer. Everybody knew I had a cancer. The women under MK Ultra referred to me, the one with the cancer, the one with the cancer. I didn't even know what the fuck they're talking about because this is insane. Every time I went back to Miami, I, I was completely was okay because they use something to kill these cancer cells. Then they would introduce me to MK Ultra again. It would be again the same shit that would repeat it. This guy did not know. The photo of leaves that his friend Tershkagora, unfortunately the guy was involved in torture, this guy Tershkagora. So when this doctor told me that you're going to do this and you have to do this, this guy didn't know anything about, not about this guy. He didn't even know about the people here in the area of Novo Mesto, what the fuck went on. He would come and he had no fucking idea about the stuff that went on. He was thrown in between of this shit without knowing anything about what went on here in my surroundings here in the Novo Mesto. He didn't know that Tershkagora, they had to, everybody had to be involved in a torture. He didn't understood my way dealing with the people when I would go. And when I saw somebody that just yesterday or day before yesterday, he was involved in a torture, demanded from me to go and ask him about wine leaves to use them as a cure to fatty liver. He, this guy didn't fucking know what, what the hell went on. However, he knew that I have a cancer. And both, despite giving an oath, which every physician has to give before they start practice, went ahead to agree for the sake of their own profits and promotions that they will be part of this criminal concern this criminal if you want to say society to the degree that the whole cancer paranoia was used to steer me in a totally 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 wrong direction if it was for this guy this guy here it would be just in a completely identical situation as for the first physician who inspected me last year in Novomesto Hospital. He was the one, the guy who inspected me was the one who claimed me about the heart issues, how it's going to be the heart. He gave the under MK Ultra the whole brainwash about the heart, that this is all because of the heart. It's a heart. It's a heart. It's a heart. Here in this case, it's a fatty liver. It's a fatty liver. If you let this shit go on long enough and you do go exercise, by the way, these are the people who body shamed. These are the people who body shamed. They demanded from me to be lean, slender. But at the same time, they told me, we did something to you. We did something to you that you're not going to be capable. You won't be capable. But they body shame because you will not exercise, because you will not do this, because you will not, because you will not, because you this, because you that, because you're lazy. It was not about, this stuff was not about, this stuff was not about Hollywood only. This was not only about the son from Arnold Schwarzenegger, Joseph. This was not only about the Mike Tyson. 
He's going to go out there and it's going to be Mike Tyson back all the way. We're going to be even sparring. This was not about this shit. This is about all the way to London. Not slim, Kate Middleton. Kate Middleton, not slim. No. Is what Prince William insisted me. You must be like her. Athletic. You must be athletic. You see? Skinny. Like this. You must be athletic. Now you started to get the taste of this shit. So now let me explain to you what the fuck they did. The athletic. The athletic is when they fuck you up. Your windows. So that one hour file from... HD regular resolution or even less adds up to about six gigabyte long file. That's what my computers were doing. It would burn file when I was completely insane. In 2011, in 2012, I didn't know what the fuck went on because nothing worked. Everything was destroyed. I bought a new telephone, the next day the telephone was fucked up. It was not the next day, it was just empty ultra in between. Bought a new camera, it was the next day the camera already was fucked up. Pay for the fucking new telephone, telephone never got. But I got to visit the guys, not only in Holland, where I order one from. The store, Pixmania. Now, I was taken to London to meet the managers of Pixmania who would tell me why the fuck I'm never going to get the money back. That I'm a racist, that I'm shit, that I'm wow. Go for a beating. Ah, you don't fucking know anything about what the fuck went on here. Now you're getting the taste about what the fuck went on here, how the fuck this shit was done and who did this stuff. You got to be athletic. You got to be like a Kate Middleton. I just got afraid I haven't taken my backpack with me. What happens when they break you everything? From watches to absolutely everything. When they tear your socks apart. When they break your shoes. What exactly happens? You end up with this. To survive, you end up even creating yourself... A special hook in the back so you can attach one between the belts so it doesn't hurt that much because you have broken spines it's more sadistic it's better like this oh a little bit they are sick a little bit these people aren't they the worst part however since 1995 maybe even definitely 96 either at the beginning of the 96 and it was repeated again in 98 it was repeated till 99 or 2000 or whatever it was when I had to meet Germans to bail me, to save my life because cancer exploded to a degree that no longer was controllable. And it was just a little bit, 99, that I did not die during MK Ultra. This is no, nothing to worry about because... If you die under MK Ultra, they fucking throw you from the bridge or whatever, and they say, hey, well, he did the suicide. But this shit here, this is my left arm. I know you see it as right because it reflects like this. This is what's squeezing down here. And that's what is causing a pressure on thyroid, on gland node. On lymph node and that's what they had me do in Poland carry these big fucking backpacks and stuff like this also here in Slovenia for them MK Ultra staff members that additionally helped that's why that's why they destroyed headphones not this this not but good very good headphones and everything they got a hold of it that's why this is the reason why so that you know this here this was 
this is the dot one this thing here this is the number one dot so now I go for a walk I have to say in a way so that I put here right here across one more belt rather than to have backpack down here because this area here this is this is one fucking cancer how can I say <laughs> uh, epicenter on my body this is what Serbs were doing in their Serbian Belgrade uh, hospital and that's what Igor Kotar was doing to fortify as much as possible so don't even medications any longer will work with this stuff that's how many times they did this stuff but they wouldn't do this stuff it was not for Joe Biden they wouldn't do this stuff on the first place it wasn't for Bill Clinton it was Americans it was Prince Charles it was Prince Andrew who just hallucinated about poisoning Princess Anne all about fucking poisoning poisoning here poisoning there poisoning poisoning fucking everywhere and they wanted this crap this paranoia they observed under MK Ultra on me to be carried on on their children and then on their grandchildren they wanted to literally see how the fuck it looks like and they wanted to literally see how the human is basically destroyed they want the world of conspiracies for the cost of killing people because they believe that this contributes to their safety now so that just so that you understand what this is about and then you have on a bandwagon other wealthy kids from hollywood other wealthy kids that provided the reality show for a group of people that were willing to pay for this stuff a second epicenter on my body they literally develop through what they acknowledged during MK Ultra were a socks that were too tied now this socks these are not this socks these socks are okay the socks I'm talking about I already have removed from the process I have taken them upstairs in an attic area just maybe so that I could use them by mistake I had this socks down here because to me this socks didn't bother me this socks don't bother you when you sit but when somebody makes you walk 16 hours a day it will make a hell of a fucking difference especially if this kind of shoes were used that people couldn't I came across because they discounted them and so I couldn't help myself other than to buy them because these were MK Ultra shoes I got them at a discounted greatly discounted rate I bought several pairs of them and once I placed them on legs I immediately recognized them very difficult impossible for walking and so when you make a combination of that kind of shit and you start to develop this kind of stuff because this is what Igor Kotar did they would have you wear improper shoe improper socks and push you drugged up to walk up to god knows how far fuck so what happened next then you develop the second cancerous dot dot in this area here you go and you ask a little about the physicians about how the fuck that works these dots when you when you start to connect them how the blood clots how they are produced and that shit then goes into the heart 
They didn't want to talk about this. They didn't want to talk about that issue that they gave you now. This is now also removed the issue, but probably too late for me. No, in the world like this, that you are actually fighting with all kinds of diseases, except with the one that you have, and that one is called cancer, you are designated to fucking die. Maybe the worst was when I went to the hospital and I had to be laughed in the face by the physicians, by the doctors, literally. Claiming me that, by the way, I'm a, probably because I'm a schizophrenic, that I cannot sleep. Good luck with uh, being an athlete like this. Kate, the athlete, just like Joseph Baena, they get 10 hours of sleep. But Donald Trump told me You know what Donald Trump told me? You know what Donald Trump told me? Donald Trump told me if you're gonna get, but not because of Jared Kushner, he told me, with the cancer you have, yeah, that's what rocked this physician here too, this one here. It knocked this physician out when he learned about that stuff. Many times people are recommending those foods because it has fiber foods because it has fiber but what about you knock him out when he said that if you get if when you're gonna if you're gonna get five hours of sleep but your cancer you can't even get more than five hours of sleep four hours five hours maximum of sleep is what you get yeah because I have the most fucked up cancer that you possibly can have I have the most fucked up cancer that you possibly can have. Nobody actually, the physicians, the doctors that came here, so that you're gonna know what kind of cancer I have, believed that the kind of cancer exists, but it does. The kind of cancer that I have is a special kind of cancer. It's got to do with, obviously with the sugar level, obviously it's got to do with the salt, obviously it's got everything and everything is coordinated now through this main organ liver which this physicians completely awkward were trying to accent me that never told me that you're gonna have a cancer but the survival is gonna be based on your liver they actually mentioned to me something in that way way too fucking late I didn't know anything about these people anywhere until the YouTube Google owners involved in Mamke Ultra since 1995. You know these guys here? Sergey Breen, Larry Page? This were involved in MK Ultra since 95. This is yet another Elon Musk, another Zuckerberger. That's what this is. This here. Another Jeff Bezos. I remember Jeff Bezos was like a baby. He was crying like a baby to please spare his life in Poland. To please be nice. Please. On knees. On knees he was me like a baby. Today he is. He, he doesn't. He does like this, right? He looks smart, right? With those eyes. The way he looks. Yeah, that's me. That's a reality. Knew nothing about these people. Till the YouTube, literally under MK Ultra, my account. They would bring them on, these people. They would just list them. And then he would look at them. He said, fuck, I know this guy. Oh, yeah, I remember now this and that. Now, so you now you know how the MK Ultra works. If I were in their level, I would see about the fatty liver. And before it would uh, pass me already, I would be about a heart problem. But I would probably 
this belief for the fuck of it if i would be fucking dying from completely obvious cancer just the way it is since 2018 that i actually have a cancer that's why what you guys did it's very very unethical this is very unethical this celebrity here was involved too this is another one who was involved in it dr phil dr phil was involved in this he was involved in this stuff too he knew all about it so many physicians what can i say in that case dr agriculture is not so bad then I don't know how you possibly could be worse than Igor Kotar, but when I think about it, how do you guys go about and face yourself in the mirror every day? Seeing what I have stated right now here on my program about your witnessing this kind of stuff and keeping it to yourself for the cost of life how do you guys go you go about like oh well this is not our fault this is a politician it's a big politic yeah but you guys are physicians you guys are here to supposedly would help people you remember when i said i was labeled as a paranoid schizophrenic in 2013 now i want to ask you guys how the fuck you go home to the US and how you go on a show and how you go on a YouTube and you know about the stuff like this as a physicians that's what your professions shouldn't allow this kind of stuff this isn't about United Nations only hold on now you guys are gonna be blaming one another hey hey he did no he did he did they did it why I couldn't because of this that's exactly what police told me the case is gonna be so this shit will get reduced to what to what issue who is going to be guilty in this case then in the end nobody's going to be guilty nobody's going to be guilty because nobody's good nobody wants to charge anybody and that's your what the donald trump stated your art your uh, art of the deal that's the art of the deal the London invented. It wasn't the Donald Trump who did this shit. As I stated, three quarters of the world, they wanted me to be dead 100%, 100% did absolutely everything to assist Moscow and Belgrade in this shit. Now in Ukraine, we have incompetent people since 1995. Since 1995. And it's actually what brought this issue to the level I am in right now. We only want savior in this world. That's Joe Biden. And myself basically is unseen, unknown. Next to the dog, they told me, to the unknown soldiers, they have to pay respect to the unknown soldiers. Well, to this memorials dedicated to the unknown soldiers. You know, they have them everywhere, all over the place, in every country. And I couldn't understand what the fuck, what, what am I doing here and this and that. That's, don't you know? No, I said, no. We're going to pay respect to you, you unknown soldier, dog. The dog, the dog is good. The dog, they told me, there's rappers in the U.S., they told me, the dog, you know, a big dog, man, a dog, you know, with dogs, man, you my dog, you know, you my dog, you know, a dog, man, friend, dog, but, you know, I, I wasn't keen to that kind of joke, to me, this shit was not funny, it was not funny when they said to me, would you be, if the guy like this, if if majesty uh, calls you dog you know you're you're a dog man you know you know what this is you know what I, I don't fucking know what this is it's a pile of shit it's a pile of fucking shit is what it is it's a pile of fucking shit the first thing i am i'm a human being 
And when you look at yourself inside of the mirror, you say to yourself, I'm a human being. And based on your money, based on the wealth you have, you can say, yeah, I live like a human being. I treat myself like a human being. But don't say that you are black, that you are a son of the slaves, that you have been exploited. Don't say the fuck that you're fighting for the human rights, that you're fighting for equality, that you're fighting against the slavery. Be fucking honest. When you look at yourself in a mirror, So basically that's all I wanted to say about this video. This is not good. This stuff is no good. Cancer. <sighs> One of the fucking worst cancers that you probably have heard of that possibly could be. You get to sleep about four hours a day based on the fucking cancer. Nobody have to gas you. Nobody have to fucking poison you. Nobody have to attack you with directed energy weapon. With this kind of cancer, yes, you get about four hours of sleep. That's all the fuck you have. And then you find yourself in an environment like mine, where you're rated as a shit, as a lazy, good for nothing, who does nothing but damage. As a pest is what my niece rated me here in the garden. Pest who does the damage, eating the fruit. You want to go look for the job? There's jobs, there's jobs, there's everything. There is everything. There is everything. 28 years of life screwed up with a forced unemployment, literally through psychiatry, rated as insane. With the proofs in hand, you can see on my website, still rated as an insane. Nobody owes any kind of apology. Nobody owes anybody anything. No apology. Police will not do the job. State prosecutors will not do the job. How is your day today? Is good? You have a cancer? What the fuck you have? What your problem is? I bet whatever the fuck problems you had in your life, in your fucking miserable lives, motherfuckers say. Because you know why? I don't believe in no fucking cancer. I don't believe in any fucking shit. I believe in one way. I believe in to be alive, to live, to go on, fight. When I said it here, they can tell you, I posted to 200 more different websites throughout the world, whatever the fuck I was doing. One thing I never was, I never wrought my misfortune on other people like you guys do. That's why I just called you the way I did. You take no fucking responsibility for your problems. And then the whole world is turning upside down like you did in my case. Your cancer problems, cancer, cancer, you resolve one or you fucking die. If you smoke, if you drink alcohol, if you whatever the fuck you did, like most of you are doing this kind of stuff, and it doesn't it doesn't catch us up with with Andrew that, that drink fucking trucks full of alcohol. Nothing catches up, it's all good. There's no cancer, there's no shit. Everything is perfect, everything is fine, great genes. Like Donald Trump says. But how pathetic do you have to be? To roll the stuff you guys did on other people. To even infest yourself with the fucking cancer. So that you can look what? Less guilty, what? More legitimate. What is it? What the fuck is it?
cancer all the way cancer since 2017 2018 cancer all the way 24 7 uh, what you do when you get that much sleep the worst you can do yourself is uh, to exercise a lot and do a heavy exercise because of the blood clots because of not only because of lack of sleep but because of the blood clots that shit will go into your heart cause you damage in the heart area but that shit won't matter because with a little luck the guy is going to keep talking about the heart problems and about even fatty liver right rather than a cancer hey it's all right man as long as it's uh, not written in a medical record, which is good for me, it's not written in a medical record. Because when they treat you, they can only treat you with uh, chemotherapies, with the regular medications, right? They can't treat you anymore with the way they treat it. Because it was a fucking help. I needed it. I was worse than human experiment animal that I stated you in 2010 on the block as crazy as insane as it was worse I was treated thousand times worse than that and I just didn't complain to you about shit I really didn't complain to you about fucking shit that's why I said that you guys are a fucking shit and your media your mainstream media your stool that you have delivered that you love that you're addicted to that world of lies that fucking mainstream media that is delivered to your desktops to your doorsteps every day your hollywood misfortunes there was a whole bunch of all of a sudden the cancer cancer was everywhere cancer was everywhere it was cancer everybody had a cancer i fucking doubt about your cancer you're fucking pathetic pieces of shit man and it's not even in Moscow, dude. This is in the U.S., in London, in Britain. They're fucking disgusting. Better worse than the Russians. Well, you are saying yourself that Russians are sick. So I don't know what to tell you about yourself. Like I said, look at yourself in the mirrors. July the 27, 2022. 28 years of cancer. 28 years of fighting with the cancer. Yeah, that's right. 28 years of fighting with the cancer. When you go sleep why is it only four or five hours of sleep you can get why this is not the paranoid schizophrenia well because when you use all the food the body start to consume what energy from where from your fat and what happens it gets toxic and what happens what is when it gets toxic what is affected well you see the body intoxicates itself so you yeah you're not going to get more than four or five hours of sleep and even those four or five hours of sleep are not too good and then what happens is yeah you walk during the day and after five years like this it accumulates so much that that you're all fucked up and you can't go about life and there is other issues yes heart and that kind of stuff that start to pile up but that's all good because that way you can look at yourself with a little luck with a little luck the truth never gets out and you'll continue to see yourself in the mirrors like a human beings should right yeah should but you never will 